14th with Empire. He's going to go against Teddy Holder. Jaden, describe your fight style. Uh, more of a, I mean, I'm pretty good everywhere. What I'm best at is Muay Thai and striking. So that's generally how I win most of my fights is by striking. But I mean, my last fight I won by submission. So, you know, I can do it all. You have a pretty extensive background in training and boxing. Do you feel this has advantages over other fighters who may not box? Yeah, yes, because most MMA guys aren't as technical with their hands as boxers are. They can't, most of them going through like one punch at a time or like more haymakers than anything instead of like doubling up on the same hand. So, and they're not as fast. So it, it tends to like make me faster when I go against MMA guys because I'm used to seeing more speed. Tell me about your very first fight. How was your mind and your nerves that day? Uh, I don't know, I've never, I mean, you get like a nervous because you want to win, but I've never been like, I just like to fight. So I've, I've never been like, like, oh, like, some of these guys freak out like a month before their fight. But I've always been pretty calm. Like, I mean, I can sleep like all the way up to my fight and then warm up and get ready. So like, I was pretty calm, you know? And then like, the guy I fought was like nothing special. So when I saw him, I was really, really confident then. Have you been training for your upcoming fight on January 14th um, with Empire with Teddy Holder? Um, I mean, I've been training, I always train year round really hard. Um, I've been doing more wrestling than I have been in the past because that's probably what I needed the most work on. And I've still been training everything else really hard, you know. What can our local fans expect to see in you at that night at the Bikes? Uh, fans like me because I can always come out uh, aggressive and usually throw down pretty good. So they'll probably see the same thing. And how do you predict um, this fight will end? Round, submission, KO, decision? Mm, I don't think it will. I doubt it will go to decision. And I can see either TKO or knockout or maybe like, like my last fight I, I dropped the guy with punches and then choked him out so maybe something like that. Out of all your boxing matches and your MMA fights, which one stands out the most in your mind and why? Mm, probably the Dave Martin fight I had for, with, with uh, at the, my, one of my amateur bang, bang fights. Because it was like, it looked like a blood massacre. Because I like, kept, I cut him open with some left hooks. And then like, when I got done, the, the doctor stopped it in the fourth round because it was a title fight. And uh, when I got done, like my hand around for so like dripping with blood because it's so bloody. Plus he had staff, and like I didn't, I, I, I just wanted to fight it. Like so I said I'd still fight him. So I had to like take a shower after I got done, got done fighting because he was like oozing staff on every, everywhere. What do you do for fun when you're not fighting or training? Mm. I mean I'll go out, maybe just hang out with my friends or watch TV. I don't really do like a ton of stuff really. It's just most of the time I'm always at work or at the gym. Any last comments? Thanks. Anybody? I'd like to thank uh, Minnesota Jiu Jitsu, uh, Jamie Langstaff. He's helped me out a whole bunch. Austin Lines. Anyway, thanks, Austin Lines, uh, Jamie Langstaff, Jason McDonald, Nathan, Nathan Payne, my MMA trainers, uh, all my trainer partners, Dave Ferguson, and everyone in Minnesota Jiu Jitsu. Alex Meadows for, for Jiu Jitsu also. All right. Well, we thank you so much for your time and we wish you the best on the 14th. We'll thank see you, you then. Thank you for having me. Yeah.